and then got after it and uh, caused a lot of pressure on us. So like, hats off to them for their, for their effort. Oh, it's always a major difference. Uh, you know, I had a I had assistant coach last year that always said it, it makes sense. You make them, we win. If you miss them, we lose. And, I mean, it sounds basic, but it, you know, it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I said, we, we work on it all the time. We may, the next time we may shoot 20%, but we work on it every day. So it's a major part of basketball. At one point in time, they had four athletic, very quick guards that were pressuring us. And we didn't have it. We didn't have it well. And, uh, we kind of, we kind of uh, were a little bit, you know, standoffish when we should have attacked a little more. But uh, we'll, we'll chalk it up as a win and a learning experience. <laughs> we've really had a uh, come to a come to Jesus meet with defense. We've uh, we've gotten a little bit better on defense. Our help defense is a lot better. Uh, we checked out real well. Didn't give up second shots. Uh, but but then again, we didn't hang, we didn't hang on. That's something that we've got to get. That's my responsibility. We got to get better hanging on late. Mm -hmm. And when you're up when you're up 16 or 18 late. The next time you go down, it's got to be two points and another stop, and that's how you build. And, but instead, we kind of, you know, we didn't do the things that got us there. Mm -hmm. Five and two. Five and two. Five and two. Yes, sir. So that's that's a good start to the season. Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, we've got a, we've got another very wonderful game Monday, so we hope to go home for Christmas at six and two. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing it for you because you said that, you said that we were going to be pretty close to that. So we're doing it for you. <laughs> we dedicated our season to you. <laughs> well, that's nice. Most people do the opposite, you yes, know. Sir. We've done some of that too. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I got. I appreciate it. We just didn't stop the basketball mm -hmm. as well as we need to. And our guard did a decent job, but we just, we don't do a good enough job to be stepping and going up charge. We're just knocking that guy to the floor and not giving him the layup and make him earn from the free throw. Mm -hmm. We do too many, what I call, you know, pity pat fouls. And, uh, you know, that hurts. And then, of course, we missed a ton of shots underneath. We missed five layups in the first quarter. And then offensive rebounds, once again, have a smirk of a smile. We just do not box out like we need to. And we talk about it, we talk about it, we talk about it. But, you know, we can work on it and drill, but, you know, until they're playing the game, we just sort of keep pointing. Mm -hmm. And we missed free throws tonight. I know we missed, when I, at one time, we missed nine free throws. Yeah. And you, know, you lose the game by two or three points, and I mean, it just comes back and bites you. Missed ten free throws, it's a one point ball game. Mm -hmm. So. You know, you got to make free throws, you got to box out, and you got to stop going to this transition. Those three things you win the ball game, those three things you don't lose the ball game. Mm -hmm. it's, really, it's really that simple. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, we've only really been blown out once. You know, yeah. We got blood by South Central. Other than that, we've been in every one of these ball games. So, I mean, legitimately, we, we could be eight more. Now, that sounds far fetched in a sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But realistically, we have not just been, you know, just a nylon on the, on the boards and in the, in, in the, in the statistical areas. We just, those, those three areas I just touched on, we've got to become more proficient in defensive transitions, rebound basketball, and you got to make free throws. It's simple as that. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to equate this season right now from wins and losses because we are young, we're playing two sophomores, two juniors, and a senior. And you know, we've got some progression to get better as the season goes on. And we've got to prepare ourselves for the program John John next year. And you know, we'll just, we'll just kind of see how, you know, how unfolds. I mean, really, truly, I'll tell you this. I told my wife this tonight. I actually enjoy coaching this team. This team plays hard. They play hard. They don't give up. And I mean, I don't have any whiners right now whining about not getting the play. Because there's some kids not play. Uh, but they, they, I think they understand their roles. And we talk about it in practice. And they know they're not getting it done in practice. They're not getting it done in the game. So the kids that are playing are doing what they're supposed to. The kids that are practicing doing what they're supposed to. Try to make the other kids better. And I've enjoyed coaching this team. I don't care what I work for. If you're 0 9, I still say I enjoy these kids because they work hard. They try to do what they're told. I mean, I don't have any prima donnas on this team. No headaches, no issues. And that is a welcome relief. If you talk about a coach to kill, everyone wants to coach to kill. I love them to kill. And I love all these kids. I really do. They're good, but they're good. Bunch. But uh, yeah, we got East Carter again. 
So uh, you know, play the first round of Christmas tournament. We'll see what happens. We've got Crow Tan and Havoc match up in the first game, and we'll take the night cap. And uh, you know, the losers will play in the consolation. We're going to play the championship. And it's going to be a wide open tournament. I think it's going to be anybody's tournament. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a clear cut favorite.